again. Marlana here with more great ideas for learning through play with your 24 to 36 month old. I've said it before, I'm going to say it again because you can't say it too often. Children learn best through active involvement and play. So today I would like to encourage you to think about ways that you can play with your child that promote physical coordination and also, at the same time, reinforce their familiarity with the natural world around them. One of the best places that a young child can safely experience the natural world is at the zoo or through imaginative play that is centered around animals. So with that in mind, I would like to offer you some great physical activities that mimic animals and the way they move. But first, here's why. By 36 months, a toddler is able to name familiar objects, animals, and body parts. They're beginning to identify the physical traits of living things. Things like the idea that elephants are huge, that giraffes are very tall, and that ducks have wings and, and quack. They've also come a long ways from those wobbly baby steps, and now they are walking and running and jumping, sometimes backwards or sideways and up and down. Their balance is getting better, and they may be able to stand for a short while on one leg. They reach, stretch, bend, rock, sway, shake, kick, and move. Their head, their arms, their legs, their elbows, their knees, their fingers, and their toes, all independently of all their other body parts. And with so many new skills and abilities, is it any wonder that they're rarely still? <laughs> unless they're asleep, which is when they're resting up so that they can do it all over again. So here are some great movements to do with your child and please play with them. Model the movements and supply and teach the sound effects. You get to roar and growl and hiss right along with your child. It's fun. So here's one that you might want to try. Can you show your child how to walk like a bear? And remember, bears don't crawl around on their hands and knees. Bears walk on all four feet. So your child will put their feet and their hands on the ground and that cute little booty up in the air while they walk around the room. They're going to love this one. Can they jump like a frog? They'll squat down low and place their hands between their feet and then jump all over the room. This one. Can they crawl like a crab? It might be a little bit of a challenge. You're asking them to turn everything upside down, a little bit inside out, and their hands and feet will be behind them, and they'll push their stomach up towards the ceiling, which is going to help build some good core strength. How about this one? Can they waddle like a penguin? It, for this one, they're going to want to have their arms straight down by their side and maybe their fingers pointing up if they, can, if they can manage that. They'll hold their legs close together and in order to facilitate that, you might give them a little stuffed animal or a ball or a balloon that they can hold between their legs as they waddle around the room like a penguin. Swinging like a monkey is a really great one for them to practice because as they swing their arms side to side, they're going to cross right through that middle line. And that will help um, strengthen the connection between different sides of their brain so that there's really good coordination and communication inside their brain. And of course, it's going to also be a bit of a challenge to maintain their balance. But those are just the start. There's so many great things they could do. They could balance like a flamingo, curl up like a bug, or slither like a snake. And whatever they do, they're going to have fun because they're doing it with you. Thanks.